I played with the Zero DSXR today, and that was fun. They gave it to me only for 30 minutes. I think it's already 45, I must be quick to go back. This is the lock for the tank open and I'll be able to put all my stuff. Obviously, if I take it, I will put a charge tank, so no more space. I'm not sure about this part. It's big. It's actually thick, better than uh, what I expected. Interesting. But this I like very much. You can put your top box here. Underneath the bike, there is this radiator. It's a bit warm. The rear brake is the same on the SRF, the same gauge run. The front brake is also the same. It's just that they added this plastic part. I'm also not sure I like it. And the other thing is I use a road lock on my SRF. It's a piece that goes here. So I'm not sure I could still use it. Maybe because it's actually quite flexible. They have the same horn. I would definitely change for a Denali Mini Sun Bomb. You know, that kind of boom. Let's have a look at the belt. That's the belt. It's bigger than uh, the one on the SRF. And you see, they have some holes. There's also a kind of plastic part to protect the belt. You see? How do you set reverse on this bike? You have to put down the quick stand. You double press the mode button. It will show a new mode. You pull back the quick stand. It shows reverse. And now you can reverse. It works. So you can also move up and down that screen with one hand. You see the height? It's a bit better than on my SRF because my screen, I guess, is about here. So you can probably fit an extra part. But I think it's it could be higher. Obviously, I didn't do a range test today. It was more a feature and a comfort test. I think tall riders like me will like it. That is the proper upright position. And this is how you sit. Upright, sit. Just a few centimeters. And let's do some... Uh, Standing. Oh yeah. You can ride it that way for sure. It's something to confirm, but I think it makes less noise than the SRF. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> 